An incident that left the entire school community distraught, 27-year-old English teacher Apiwe Kaba died at the scene. The tragic incident was preceded by the alleged rape of Elena late last year while coming from evening classes. We are not happy at all and uh, I think uh, the students uh, are not happy about this. There was a, a Elena who was raped when she came uh, from the evening classes at school and uh, we reported uh, this uh, to the traditional leaders and the policemen. Uh, we feel, I don't know whether to say depressed or what, but it's, it's a terrible tragedy. We really feel sad and it, it's going to be hard to move from this, to move on. It's, it's really going to be hard and we really hope that MSC will take a step in and the person who did this will be caught and justice will prevail as always. The provincial government has vowed to join hands in curbing these incidents. We took this matter quite very seriously as an education precisely because once you have got disturbances in institutions of learning and becomes a target, you will not have the outcomes that you expect uh, from the, in particular from the high school level, because remember, these teachers has been targeted by the unknown suspects going to school on an extraordinary effort. Um, they were doing evening classes, uh, campings, which uh, is, a, is a desire and a passion from them. Uh, and government must appreciate that because they were not paid by government for what they were doing. The MEC and teacher unions also visited the home of the deceased. Family members say this is a huge blow to them. Honestly, we are deeply hurt by what happened because our son was our hope since he just started working. It's only been a few years since he started working. We were looking up to him. We are very sad. This has just derailed our plans. Last year, evening classes at Demanda Senior Secondary School in Maleni had to be cancelled following the alleged rape of learners from evening classes. The same happened at Ludadeni High in Guapaka. Last week, MEC Garde visited Willow Vale, where a community fight led to the disruption of teaching and learning in schools. Fundisam Hlekude, SABC News, Lusikisiki.